I'm here on um, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, Fort Hamilton uh, Parkway, 101st Street. Now, this is a this is an interesting story. This could be this could be very interesting. Right now, I'm standing at the uh, entrance of the fort. Now, if you remember my video a while ago, right? Remember when the when the police came out and they they drove up into the uh, they don't like me over here, so I'm being very very cautious. Right now, there's more. Um, it's clear there's more police than protesters. Now, what the hell is this event? This event is Pablo Valencio Vavalo, whatever his name is, right? The guy, this is the pizza guy, right? Remember the pizza guy that uh, on July 1st, there's a pizza guy in Bay Ridge, right? He's an illegal, illegal immigrant, right? Illegal alien, right? And he's, he's delivering pizza in Bay Ridge, right, for a pizzeria. So, so the guys in the fort order a pizza, right? And this guy goes in there and, and, and delivers the pizza, Valencio, Pablo Valencio, and ICE, <laughs> they, they, they hold him because he's, in, he's illegal, right? They do their job, the military does their job, right? And they hold him, right? And they call, they get, they get, they get ICE involved, right? So long story short, the guy is still in custody, right he's still in custody they still got him i think his hearing is july 24. and the, here's the big news alessandro acasio cortez is going to be here right we're going to see we got all, all the liberals they got no signs yet frank was a refugee so you got all these guys. enemy territory again you got to be really really careful over here because Again, there's more police, there's more detectives than anybody. Right? Look at them all. Yes. NYPD means business, you know? So. I don't know. We'll wait for the politicians to show up and speak. Ah, politicians. They love this shit. That's the only time you see politicians is when there's a, an event. That's the kind of protest so they get their face in the camera. And otherwise, you don't see them. Where are they? They're good people. They, they mean well. Yeah, everybody means well. So apparently, like, they, they remember the fort? I'll show you. Remember the fort? That's the entrance of the fort over there, right? And remember that day I was, I was walking by? Look at the video. You can find the video down below. I was walking by minding my own business and I took out my camera and I was filming in that spot. And those two military police came came flying out the goddamn flying out the hole. Right? They're flying out the flying out the entrance looking to looking to uh looking to looking to apprehend me. Anyway, that's just a side story, but I, I don't I don't think much of this. I'm just gonna I, I mean this this is this is bullshit, right? In my view, right? In my view, right, there's laws. We have laws, right? What happened to the laws? No more law? No more fucking law? Right? NYPD, they got this 45,000 45, NYPD in New York City. Right? 20,000 ICE across the country. Why, why, what's, what's up with that? Right? Right? Illegal immigration as opposed to legal immigration. Right? It's a big difference. So, I don't know. Stand by. Could be interesting. It's, a, it's early. It's only 5 o'clock. My neighborhood. There's no podium set up, so that's a, that's probably an indication that the uh, the big wigs the, or the big uh, there's the councilman in this neighborhood. One of them, his name is uh, Justin Brandon, right? He's the guy who beat, um, if you recall, John Quaglione, the guy that I interviewed, John Quaglione. 
and Justin Bra Brandon, the, the big guy, right? He won. He won the election. He beat uh, Quaglione. So he was here the last time. And um, see if he shows up again. You know. But as Alessandro Ocasio Cortez, the the the, the ultra liberal who doesn't know where, doesn't know that says there's a video floating around on YouTube if you see this right check this shit out she beat Joe Crowley if you're not familiar with the story I, I got nothing else to talk about right so I'll talk about that Joe Crowley right is the number four Democrat in the house and in his congressional district somehow some way Alessandro Ocasio Cortez ran 28 year old chick from Queens or Bronx she lied she says she's from the Bronx we don't know nobody knows where she says it's the poor, poor little rich girl. She says she went to public school, right? But meanwhile, she actually, she actually um, grew up in a in a in a wealthy suburb, kind of Westchester County. Actually, past Westchester County. The story is 90 minutes outside of New York. No, it's like two hours outside of New York. So her whole story about the poor little rich girl. You know the poor, the poor girl who worked in the restaurant. It's all bullshit, right? So anyway, there's a story floating. There's a video floating around where she did an interview, and they asked her about a question about Israel, and she says, "Oh, I, I think the 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 occupation of the Palestine of Palestine is bad." I, I, watch the video. She doesn't know. She didn't know that. She didn't know that the, the, she doesn't know Israel. She doesn't know that there's the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, and that the, the Palestinian people have been, you know, held down by by the Israelis for for years and years. And years. she knew nothing about the issue. Right? But this is who they. This is because ice, fucking ice. Gotta get rid of fucking ice. That's who we. That's our politicians. That's who people elect. Emotion. It's all emotional. Right? What about policy? We're standing in front of the fucking military base, right? Standing in front of a fucking military base, twenty seven hundred billion dollars were allocated. Seven hundred billion dollars were allocated for military spending. You think anybody's protesting that? No, they're protesting a pizza guy. A fucking pizza guy. Because he's illegal. An illegal pizza guy. You have your right to protest. You also have your right to hear the to hear the hear the hear the actual details, right? The actual the actual story. Nice people, right? Just a little confused. Right? Nobody wants. Nobody's. Nobody's saying this isn't anti-Pablo. This is it. That we have laws in this country. We have laws, right? right? Change the law. Change the politicians. I don't know. Big protest. What do you do? You want to talk? So, so what's going on? So, Paul, do you mind if I bring you into my frame, doing a little YouTube All vlog? Right. All right, so you got a guy here. Uh, tell me what's going on. I, I, I got I have an opinion on what's going on. You tell me what's going on. Okay. My name is Marcus Conti, by the way. I do a little blog. It's kind of on the, uh, one would say on the right, but whatever. Okay. Talk about that. Uh, I was a Bernie supporter. All right, cool. Me too. Cool. Uh, let's see. On what's your name? Matt. My name is Matt. I'm a resident of Brooklyn, or resident of Bay Ridge, I live just up the block. Uh, so June, or June 1st, Friday, June 1st, Pablo Vivi Asensio was delivering pizza. He is undocumented, uh, but he has a state ID. He had been making this uh, trip all the time. Someone decided to call ICE on him. Now, he did break the law. However, it's a shitty law. Uh, he's a productive member of society, has an American wife, has American kids. So, because he because he broke an immigration law and is in the process of getting his green card, they decided to lock him up, take him out of society, spend tax, uh, cost taxpayers a whole lot of money, while he could be taking care of himself and his family. Right. So, so 
Let me understand. Do you think that? I mean, we're in front of we're in front of the military, right? Military base. Do you think that? Taking into consideration that seven that the Congress uh, and Senate just passed Congress just passed seven hundred billion dollar military spending budget to fund the military. Do you think that that would be? I don't know. Maybe more 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 important of an issue than than a pizza guy who is clearly undocumented and the uh, military doing it doing their job you know is this I mean do you think that that's I, I don't I, I fail this convince me that this is a valid protest that's what I want to know because I'm a, I'm a resident too I'm right. I live right so, down the block. are you saying we can only protest and be upset about one thing at a time mm, okay, I'm against point. a glutted or a military glut anyway right. but this that doesn't make this guy any less important so what do we do? We no no borders. We we no borders. Just let immig immigrants can come go, right? No borders. Are you are you a fan of no borders? Eliminate ICE. Eliminate law enforcement on the borders. Just... Are, are you talking about eliminating ICE or no borders? Those are two very different things. Well, we can have borders. Tell me, we didn't tell have me ICE why until different. 2002. We had ICE in 2003. And as a result of 9/11, right? It was a it was a As task a result of the overreaction to 9/11. Do you yes. know how many ICE agents there are nationwide? I do not. Tell me. Twenty. Uh, uh, Twenty thousand nationwide. Do you know how many NYPD police officers are in New York City alone? Tell me. Half of them are here. There's a forty-five thousand. Half of them are here? No, no, a lot, a lot of them. Are here. <laughs> There's a lot of them. A lot of cops. Uh, I count maybe like twenty-five. So, um, so what politicians are going to show up today? I don't know who's showing up. <sighs> it's a good event. I appreciate your time. Man. I'm just, All right. I, I, I am, I'm, I'm a, a bit of a cynic, and um, but it's good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here, and I wanna, I wanna know. I just wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know what people think. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, man. All I appreciate right. What's your the name time. Of your blog? Uh, it's uh, my name is Marcus Conti. You can find it under there. It's uh, Conti, whistle C O N T E. C O N T E. Yeah. All right. Cool. That was an interesting guy, right? Just holding signs, right? I feel like I want to... <laughs> I feel like I want to rile him up or something. I don't know how long I'm going to last here. This is boring. A boring protest. It's just cops. It's cops and people and friendly liberals. He made That guy made a good point. He said, um... He said, yeah, we can we can protest more than one issue at a time. That's a good point. He got me. Oh, pow. Fucking got me. How you doing? Hey, can I bring you into my frame? How you doing, man? Pack the court. So so um, Pablo is gonna be in court on the twenty fourth, right? Yes. What do you think is gonna happen? I have no idea. I, I, He's I'm still in actually... custody, right? The guy's still in custody? As far as I understand, yeah. What do you hope to come out of this today? I, I be, you know, I'd be honest, I'm a, I'm a bit of a cynic. Uh, sure. What's your name? Uh, well, my name is Michael. I'm actually here from Councilman Brandon's office. Oh, Councilman uh, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I, I'm where, not actually. Where is he? He's not here today. Yeah, Could he wanted it? to be here. He couldn't make it. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not really authorized to say very much from our office right now. We're advising so people you're, to... So you're a, democratic, you're a democratic operative and you're not allowed to talk to the media. I'm not a democratic operative. I, I'm, I'm an employee in, custom, in Councilman Brandon's office. Are you told what to... Does he tell you who to speak to and not speak to as, a, as the uh, councilman for, for New York City? No, no. It's just, you know, as far as public statements from him go, we're encouraging people to contact Chris from our office. He handles the media stuff. Um, I'm just here to show support from Councilman Brandon's office. Uh, are you on the payroll? Do you make Do you make a living? You make, are you on the payroll, with Brandon? <laughs> Why are you asking about that? I don't know. I think because because I think that that the state of our politics is is in is in disarray. Uh -huh. I think that the Democrats came through New York and they they stole an election. Uh, Bernie Sanders versus Bernie Sanders versus. No fear. Let's turn it. Here, no so so. So that's what I think. I think that that. No go ahead. Fear. I'll let you go, man. Thank you. Immigrants are welcome here. No hate. No fear. Immigrants are welcome here. No hate. No fear. Immigrants are welcome here. No hate. No fear.
fear. Immigrants are welcome here, no hate, no 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 fear. Immigrants are welcome here, no hate. No fear. Oh boy. Immigrants are welcome here. Yeah, Absolutely. No hate. No fear. Sounds like a new song. Being a dick, right? I want to. I want to. I want to be. I want to feel it. I want to feel like. I want to feel it. I want to feel it. I just. I just want to feel it, but I don't feel it. No fear. Yeah, more than one issue, but you gotta you should maybe pick another song. Immigrants are welcome here, no hate. Oh the cops. They're waiting for some shit to go down. Well, that farted out. We got strength. We got spirit. We got voices. We want the world to hear it. We got strength. We got spirit. We got voices. We want the world to hear it. We got strength. We got spirit. We got voices. We want the world to hear it. We got strength. We got spirit. We got spirit, we got voices, we want the world to hear it. We got strength, we got spirit, we got voices, we want the world to hear it. We got strength, we got spirit, we got I think the takeaway is that I think the takeaway for me is like I was again, I was people call me left, right? I'm supposed to be over there, right? Ch chanting. Right? That's 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 the the, the deal with with our liberal, the liberal, the liberal left, right? Is that I don't have any, I don't have any feeling about this other than that 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 borders are necessary. That an illegal illegal person who is here and and he's stupid enough to go into a military base undocumented and gets himself locked up and deported. It's just it's not the the issue is not immigration. Right? The issue is le law. Right? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, I know. Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. The Reds are under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. So if you just tune in, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, right? It's the opening, it's the entrance of the fort. Valencio, Pablo, Pablo, <laughs> I got his name wrong. Pablo something with a V. He's from Ecuador, an Ecuadorian immigrant. Delivered pizza to the fort. Got screwed. So this is the this is the loony left. Loony left on display. Get this town, get up, get down. 
My grandfather was an immigrant. All my grandparents immigrated from uh, from Italy. But you didn't know that. Nobody's anti-immigrant. What are you talking about? Down. That's true, immigrants did build this town. Build this town. Alright. Do a little retro retrospect. Let them have their way. Let them have their day. So anyway, this is my park. You know, they're at the corner of my park. So I go. It's uh. It's a, can I bring it to my frame? It's a YouTube video. No, you good? Yeah, I don't care. All right. So yeah, it's uh. It's a. It's a protest for a guy. Uh, the pizza guy. You know the pizza guy? What's your name, man? Uh, Angelo. Angelo. How you doing? I'm man? born and raised in Brooklyn, so I don't care. I'm yeah, not, me uh, too. I, I grew up. I lived down the block. <laughs> I lived down the block. Yeah. I grew up. I grew up. In Bay, uh, I was born in Coney Island. Coney Island. I, I lived in Staten Island most of my life. So well, it's a it's a protest. Well, you have uh, for, slice of pizza. So you're a regular guy. No, the guy. The guy. <laughs> the guy was from Ecuador. He was a pizza guy. I don't know what pizzeria. Yeah. And he delivers. He gets a call to go into the fort to deliver a pizza, and they lock him up because it's illegal. Right? It's fucked up, right? So, so, so wait, he's he's working. Right? How was he illegal? Because he's Italian. I'm no, no, no. He's, <laughs> he's from Ecuador. <laughs> I'm Italian. Hey, no, there's, a, there's a Italian, <laughs> Italian this. So these that's what these folks are here because they 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 believe. I believe they believe that he was shut down illegally. He he was he was he was waiting for a green card, but he was here illegally. And ICE, which is the enforcement agency, came in and so they they deported the Italian guy back to Italy. No, they imported the Ecuadorian guy back to Ecuador. Oh, I heard about something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what that. That's what this is. They haven't deported him yet. That's why the the twenty fourth. So what? They protest and saying not to deport him. Not to deport him, right? What? Because he's been working there for a long time. Because he's working here for a long time. How long he's working there? I don't know. It's a good question. But they they, they love him like that. I mean, he must be deliver pizza like pretty fast. <laughs> now and again. <laughs> hey, good talking, man. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, people have a right to. They, I mean, they have my a right opinion, to like Trump. I mean, I'll right, be honest yeah. with you, like. I don't know, I gotta watch what I say, but it, don't you don't have to watch what you say. But, it's YouTube. But they should say whatever you want. They, That's they, what I want. The hear. first thing they should have deported was all the Muslims. Ooh, yeah. I mean, you know, anybody. Look, I'm I'm about I'm about legal. You want to live here? My grandparents yeah, are from Italy, right? My grandparents are from Italy. Yeah, yeah. They came here on a fucking banana boat. But right? Italians don't want to blow up buildings and live here at the same time. No, know? they don't. They don't. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> See, it's, that, yeah. But that's the problem. In 2001, I was almost 30 years old when that happened. I'm like, that's when they should have, everyone that was Muslim should have got deported right away. Mm, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there's an argument to be made. Because I mean, think about it. We still will have problems in this country, but we have less problems. It's worried about terrorist attacks all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and man. Muslim religion is, is a barbaric religion. Yeah. If you read their Quran, it talks about terrorizing people. It, if if you're not a Muslim, you know you're you're an infidel. You know. So how do we how do we fix the how, how do we fix it? How do we? You gotta get immigration rid of them all. to get rid of the cancer. You gotta put them all back over there. Cancer. Keep an eye on them. All right. Gotcha, man. Gotcha. Man. Right now they're scattered. Yeah. So you know you, this, you never know sleeper cells. They, they're scattered because there's gonna be a terrorist attack any day now. You know what? And you know not for nothing. I wish it, I hope it happens so America can wake up. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't mean to say it like that, but you know. Do you think that a protest? Let me ask you this: from that perspective, yeah, I'm already locked up talking. Like you're not, you know, you're not. Yeah, yeah. You're not. I got shaped. The military. I'm very cautious. As a military, last time yeah, yeah. they know me from YouTube. Last time I was yeah, yeah. here, yeah. The, car, the the military car chased me in the entrance all the way into the park. Yeah, yeah. Chased me with, with the, why, with the why car. Why did they chase you? Because I was filming in front of the entrance. You're not allowed to be over there. Oh, I see. So, what you're but saying. now yeah. it's kind of like that's why they're all on this corner. You're not allowed to block the. The, See, America the, is freedom of speech, but then it's not. Like, if you say right. something that's like, it hurts right. people's feelings, oh, you know, I'm going to call the cops because I can't take the truth. You know, like, stuff like that, you right, know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I think I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace, man. <laughs> hey, good talking to you, man. Take Thank care, you very much care. for your time. Appreciate well, it. I hope things work out, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. I do, too. Everybody's got an opinion, right? It's fucking opinions. Everybody's got an opinion, right?
No politicians here. That's funny. I got uh, Justin Brandon as uh, his, his handler. That was an accident. Justin Brandon is a councilman for Brooklyn, this area. Right? Supposed to be here representing the people. I fucking know where to be found, those guys. See, one of those signs says separating families is a crime against humanity. What about, what about Rikers Island? What about the, the largest jail, one of the largest city jails in the world? Functions here in New York City. They separate men from their kids all every day, right? For what? For what? Little bullshit, right? Why don't you protest that? See, I'm saying, like, this becomes like a racial. See, how, see that guy, that guy that just spoke about the, the Arabs, right? Like, he's angry, right? He's fucking angry. Right? He's angry. And, you know, I don't know. He almost wanted to say Trump Trump was right, right? He said Trump was right on immigration. That's a, that's a, that's a neighborhood guy. That's a guy in the neighborhood. All right. I was trying to get out of here, and I wound up, I wound up running into that guy. So... Uh, so, Marcus Conti reporting from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, at the big, the big rally in Bay Ridge against, against, fucking ice! Ah! Look, there's got to be, you got to have, you got to have borders, right? These people know that the corporations are robbing them. I wonder if they know that. Separating the children. That's, I, I just have, you know, that's. It, it's partially a lot of gaslighting going on where there's people gaslighted to believe that you know they're gaslighted to believe that the, 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 the function what's going on here is 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 the, is the government wants to separate people from their children where they don't look at the the, the the higher rule which is illegal immigration in this country it's many many people in this country believe that that the flood of immigration takes away jobs from America, Americans. Now, that's true, but I, I fundamentally disagree with that argument. I think that there's plenty of bread to go around if you, if you stuff the hole at the top, if you stop the bleeding of the corporations at the top. All this stuff doesn't matter because when there's five loaves of bread on the table, I feel like Jimmy Breslin right now. Fucking Jimmy... Fun, uh, channeling Jimmy Breslin the New York look him up you'll find out who he is you know I forgot what I was saying but uh, oh when five loaves when there's five loaves of bread on the table nobody's arguing over bread right to, to lift the veil people I'm, I'm this is real hair fuckos right it's real fucking hair right my teeth they're real they're real fucking teeth right jerk offs Someone was trying to say that my hair and my teeth are fake. It's not. It's fucking real hair. I just like the hat. Right? The glasses are real too. Man. In fact, I can't see without them. I can't see without them. All right. I made an ass of myself long enough. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting. I'm going to... Um, I'll stand by. If I see the Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez, if I see the, the, the would-be brilliant, new, inspiring politician pop up, I'll I'll pick it up. I'll try to I'll try to ask her, you know, something. Peace.